Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at metallic bonding. By the end of this lesson then we should be able to do the following things. Identify compounds that are metallic, draw diagrams to explain metallic bonds, compounds and explain the bonding and what affects the strength of metallic compounds. Metallic compounds then, some examples, here we've got sodium, scandium, iron and aluminium. So if we just pick these out of the periodic table, here we've got sodium, scandium, sodium, uh, iron, aluminium, I'll just get the sodium there again, there it is. And importantly, all of those lie on the left hand side of our staircase and therefore are made up of metals only. So everything to the left hand side of the staircase is what we're interested in today. Let's look at metallic bonding then and we'll take an example here of sodium which has an electron configuration of 281 got 11 electrons so if it's going to get a full outer shell it's going to lose an electron and become 2, 8. Now when it comes to bonding what happens is the sodium ions form a regular arrangement of positive ions in a giant lattice, or giant structure, and the f electrons which have been released are free to move and we call those delocalized electrons. And they're not fixed to any iron, they are free to move. The metallic bond then is the attraction between the positive metal ions and the delocalized electrons from the metal. The metal bond then is the attraction between the positive metal ions and delocalized electrons. And what this means is that we can alter the strength of the bond by changing the charge in the number of electrons. So if we look at this example here, we might have sodium plus ions in a regular arrangement of positive ions, and they will also have one free electron per metal ion. But if we look at this example on the right, this might be magnesium 2 plus, it's in group 2, and for each metal ion, there is going to be two electrons per metal ion. Result here is that the magnesium ions hold the magnesium as a stronger metal bond, and therefore magnesium has a higher melting point and boiling point than, let's say, sodium. So the larger charged ion has more free electrons resulting in a stronger metallic bond. So to recap then, metallic bonding is between positive metal ions, delocalized electrons, and it's the attraction between positive metal ions and delocalized electrons. And the greater the charge on the ion, the more free electrons and the stronger the metallic bond. That's all for now. See you next time.